Support for City Series Boys Football is provided by the Akron Public Schools Career Education Department at 330-761-3131 or APScareers.com. Welcome here to George Otten Stadium as we are just about ready to get the game underway as the Firestone Falcons are going to start this one with a penalty as they came out late from the tunnel. So they'll start a little farther back. Dave Schick, Joe Pekanski here on APS 15 bringing you City Series action here as we always do on Friday nights. It's uh, about 25 degrees colder than last week. <laughs> Fantastic. So uh, everyone is no longer in shorts and t-shirts and uh, enjoying the warm weather. It is fall, and we have sweatshirts on, sweatpants, and head hip here. The Dragons come in 4-1 and one overall in the season, 1-0 and oh in the City Series. Firestone Falcons at 2-3 and three and 1-0 and oh in the City Series as well. This one's going to be taken just out of the end zone as he brings it back up, makes a nice move inside, and he is going to go down at the 20-yard line on the return, Darshan Williams. Nice deep kickoff by number 55, Darius Reese, who pins it down there, and uh, good kick coverage by the Dragons. Jam. Dragons coming in 4-1, and one, I think. Did you mention that already, partner? I did, yeah. And uh, far and away, the class of the City Series this year, Booker will be uh, their biggest competition, but uh, they are looking to roll through, and if they do, a second straight trip to Week 11 in playoff time could be in their future as they sit right now in contention in Division Three Region 9. And we have uh, some interviews of the coaches that we'll get to during our first stops as we'll get a short gain here on the QB scramble play. Gavin Cornelius, the 6'5 junior. More known for his strong arm than his, than his running ability. He'll get you some scramble yards, but... Yeah, he was here in front of our press box here, m being on the move and making some hard throws, and he's going to set this one up. It looked like he had a little bit of a game, but they're going to take him down with a one-yard loss. Second down and 11 here. Play comes in, and he sends it down the line. Top of your screen is going to be Lafayette Johnson. He's going to go to the other side, though, on a short screen play. Flag is down, yeah. though. As and they were over the back, and pass intended be. for Darshawn Williams. Yeah, and Deshaun Brimage got there just a little bit early. He doesn't like the call, but he, he got there. He was in great position. He just timed it and got there. He jumped the slant a little too early. And that will be first penalty on the Dragons. And the first first down for the Falcons. We'll move it up about 10, 10 yards. yards. Yep. yep, 10 yards. First and 10 now as they're just behind the 30-yard line. We saw him last week do a very good job being able to run the ball very effectively and only really pass kind of when they needed to, when they wanted to in that, in that way. Press coverage all the way around. Four wide. The Dragons. They give it on the trap play to the right side. He'll get no gain about no gain on the carry. Josh Mitchell on the carry for the Falcons. Dominating performance so far for the Dragons after an opening tough loss to a very good Jackson team. Uh, they've reeled off four straight with very impressive victories over both Dover and North Canton. Uh, this Dragons team is loaded. Firestone looking to surprise them here. Another slant route, and they complete it. They go at Brimage again. That one's complete to Darshawn Williams. Pick up about six on the play. Second target for him. 
moves the chains up, makes it third down and four. And again with the four wide, we've seen them really spread the offense here against the Dragons, different from our first week of coverage. He's going to fake the handoff and go forward on it. He'll gain three yards on the carry and set up a short and fourth situation here early in the first quarter. Darius Reese kind of stuffed out that quarterback draw. Give Cornelius two, but he needed four, and now it's decision time for the Falcons. Well, no, there's no kick team out there. Now I'd look to see to get a hard count here, especially right. early. Still have your time out here in the first. But there's the hard count. No flag. They're saying he didn't cross over. Press box here thinking, disagreeing with yeah. the lack of a call on the field. Still waiting now. And they're going to go for it. The ball oh, goes right past no. him. It's bouncing. The defense picks it up. He keeps running, and he goes down at the 18-yard line. And the turnover is going to stand on the fumble play, the bad snap, and the drag is going to take over in the red zone. And how infuriated, infuriated are you if you're a Firestone fan? The guy that jumped off, Tanner Kelly, or so they thought, is the guy that comes up with the fumble recovery on fourth down. Should have punted. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least catch the snap. And bad snaps um, or, you know, worked in Firestone's favor last week against the uh, North Vikings. Well, You're working against them, and you don't want to give this offense a short field. And I think he was looking uh, to the sideline to see if they wanted a timeout. They got the hard snap. Now, they didn't get the call, even though there was movement. And I think that kind of threw the whole team off. It's kilter. They're going to hand the ball off left side, breaks the tackle in the backfield, keeps moving forward. He'll get six yards on the carry. That's David Air, David Air Floyd, 5'9", 210-pound senior, and they got a couple of good running backs here. A lot of experience. Ryan Collins now in his third year under center at quarterback. He, he, they like to run it, but he can throw it when need be as well. Gets seven on first down. And a great cut play, running left and cutting back up field. 821 here in the first quarter, 0 0. Now the Dragons with their first possession. The line's moving as well, and there's the flag. And that one's going to go on number 76, Robert White, the right tackle. The hard count got. It got, uh, got his own guys with that hard one. The new scoreboard, which you can see in the background, provided by the University of Akron and Malone University, Stark State University also on there. And additional advertising space for you, Joe, if you'd like <laughs> to get a spot up there. And now we're going to have a time. I don't have nearly as much money as any of those colleges, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing okay. Well, the good thing is, <laughs> is, is Akron has some of our money that we gave to them. As we have a time out here. Uh, obviously, Coach wants to talk <laughs> over a little bit uh, with his team. While we have a break, let's uh, talk with their coach, who we uh, want to see how they did last week. Coach, can you tell me a little bit about last week and how you guys started to on the field? I thought it was a good win. You know, we came out, we was fired up. Uh, we was able to get after those guys early and, and secure the win. So then we were able to play a lot of our young guys and get some guys some experience that uh, normally wouldn't get in the game that quick. And how did you re prepare things differently this week as you face Firestone? Uh, we didn't prepare anything any differently because we, we prepare for every game the exact same way. We prepare for every team like they're the best team in the country, even like they're the next biggest game because they are, because they're our next game. That right, was from Coach Hazel looking to hand off the left side, trying to get that first down, and I think the marker shows that he would get it from where they're at. It'd be a four-yard gain. And Justin Moore. On, I'm sorry, Claude Williams on the carry. So actually, they needed eight on that one. They gave him nine. He got nine because they moved five back because of the penalty. Oh, yeah. Sorry. No. So, so now it's going to set up first and goal from the six-yard line. And the coach, that was Coach Hayes that we had. 
from the East Dragons talking about how they prepared for the game, how they did last week. The, pu the puzzle piles that have move forward for a touchdown, and they are going to give it to him. So six points goes up on the board for the Dragons as they get a touchdown here quickly. And, Joe, who was our ball carrier, though? That was Devonir Floyd, and you could have scored a touchdown on that because that was domination by the offensive line of the Dragons. A little bit more to watch is they put up 71 points last week. The, the push they're getting up front, they're huge, and they're also athletic. Now they'll go for the conversion. Easy score with the short field for the Dragons. So quickly on their first possession, which started on the 19-yard line, they're able to get in for a touchdown. Looking to set up here. Kendrick Buckley, their kicker. The holder is going to be River Collins. Snap is down, hold is down, and no. a little late, and kicked it into the back of the offensive line. The snap was a little low. Yeah. Thought the holder did a pretty good job to get it there. But that extra time to readjust, they didn't get it in the right spot. So they don't convert on the uh, extra point, And it stays 6 nothing here in the first quarter. So one possession for the Falcons. And the turnover leads to three runs and a quick six for the Dragons. So they're going to hand the ball back to the uh, the Falcons for their second possession. Certainly the first possession, they were able to get some yards. They got their first first down through penalty, but really on a fourth and two play that they were maybe trying to do a little too much with it, trying to get some movement. They thought that they had it, and then while looking for a timeout, I, I believe, uh, the ball was snapped and they turned the ball over. So looking to get this bounce back as the short field certainly helped the Dragons get some points. Uh, it looks like Buckley's going to have our kickoff again here as he lines up for the kickoff. It's going to be a big kick down the center of the field. They scoop back again. It's going to hit at the goal line and stay there. So put some power behind that big kick, and they'll bring it back out off the touchback. And that's a good weapon to have with the deep kick. Yeah, it looked like the uh, the holding of the ball for the extra point was certainly part of the issue. You saw the, the leg strength that certainly Buckley has, but he's got to have it in place to be able to get the, the ball through the uprights. Sure. It's not something that's easy to do, although a lot of guys make it look easy. The Dragons, a very fast team, returning uh, City Series champs. And on up again. They're going to have motion coming to the bottom of your screen, which is going to be Johnson. Cornelius goes over the center, has a man there with Johnson, and the ball is not where it is. It went right on by him. He did. I will say, nice job by the offensive line there. He had time to throw. Lafayette but Johnson, our intended target. Not a lot of separation in the Dragons. They're playing pretty much... They're playing a lot of cover one, one safety deep, a lot of man-to-man -man coverage here on the outside. When you can do that, when you can play man-to-man, -man, it gives you an extra ta tackler that you can always have in the box too, which is nice. Yassin Franklin and, I'm sorry, um, Darshawn Williams and Justin Moore at the bottom of your screen. They're gonna look that way and run that side. But it's gonna be with Mitchell. Mitchell is gonna be there for the first down as he gains about 13 yards on the carry and goes out of bounds. Lamonte Stevenson ran him down, but a nice run for Mitchell. Give him a nice gain of uh, 14, 13. 13, yeah. I didn't have the, uh, the first carry that he had, but it was for no gain, so. Yeah, you, you are correct. Going to be moving the uh, motion. Tarshawn Williams goes to the top of your screen. Looking right oh, through right the hands oh, and intercepted. Play. Right at the line of scrimmage down the right sideline. He's right near the end zone, and they're going to mark him out at the one-yard line. One player seems to be in the thorn. 
of the Falcons on his fourth attempt that goes right into the hands of Tanner Kelly again, right? Yes. Yes. And he had that that one's on Cornelius. He lost that ball. He's got Mitchell's open. He just threw it right. And somehow it was a great play for it to stick, but he just threw it right to him. He put his hands up looking to block it. The ball yeah. came down right on his chest. That's where you have to throw it with touch, DA. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, you gotta just loft it over because Mitchell was open in the flat. And, yeah. they, and maybe he never saw Kelly as Kelly kind of got off his block there a little bit the last second. Definitely some stick them on the hands for Kelly. And so they have been on their side of the field with two turnovers, back-to-back -back possessions. And Tanner Kelly breaking into the talk to be player of the game. Two, a fumble recovery and an interception already. Yeah, Fleury's player of the game, signature player of the game will come up there. And certainly two great turnarounds and field position to get them two back-to-back -to -back touchdowns. Top, per, top official has the uh, hands up. And I think we're going to make it official. How about we make it official? And they do. So a one-yard carry gets him his second touchdown. Well, the offensive drives so far have been 18 and one yard. So that, uh, that nah. makes, it, makes it a little easier for the offense. It's a recipe for a long day for the Falcons. One-yard run by Floyd for the touchdown. They are going to go for two here. Looks like uh, they missed the first, and so now they'll go for two. And look to hand the ball off left side. Has a good push, but looks short from here. And nope. the top judge says did not get in. So failed run by number 22, and that's uh, Floyd again. Well, and it. The Firestone defense hasn't really had a chance to, to do much here, you know, that because of the short fields. Well, uh, and they haven't been out there very long, but they've been put in, in very poor situations. Uh, Offensively, you give the ball into the red zone and on the one-yard line so far. 19 total yards, 12 points. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Tanner Kelly in the right place at the right time. Two times here. And we're not even halfway through the first quarter. It'll be interesting to see after two consecutive turnovers if if they'll try to run the ball a little more. Well, here's the Cornelius thing. has a, got four passes. Screen, which is usually a high percentage play. Not so fast, my friend. Four, two rushes for Mitchell, four passing attempts for Cornelius. And we'll see if he can boot this one out of the end zone again as he did the first time. This one not as hard. Goes to about the 25 yard line, but they drop it. He picks it up, runs left side. He's got He's nothing there, backwards. tries to go back the other way and he'll go down at the 16 yard line. And if it could go bad for the Falcons so far, it seems to be that they've got the voodoo curse on top of them. Don't run east-west and certainly don't run back towards your goal line. Get away from that end zone because that's where east is living right now. So bad field position again. And that one was actually kicked to about the 24, but once it was muffed. Lost 10 yards on not uh, catching it and dropping it. And they'll stay with this four-man formation as they're looking to spread out the Dragons and they'll go to the run game. And he'll stay where he's at. Run by Mitchell. I don't think he gained anything. No. Find a scrimmage. Generous. And not even really going into a huddle, so now going no huddle. And they're looking at the sideline for the play, and they'll go from there. Clock's running at 6.05 here in the first quarter. The Falcons find themselves down two touchdowns here. Throw again, oh almost my. picked off for a second time. This one went through the hands of Jay Sean Robinson. And we had seen him last week. He kind of has a great throwing motion. And I feel like sometimes he just is a little lazy in sidearm stuff because he's got the strength to do it. And with the sidearm, that 
that throwing motion brings the ball down where the defense can make plays on it that way. Hey, that's the third slant they've tried, and they're jumping that slant route now. Well, and we saw him do a really good job last week of throwing the pump out there to get DBs off of people. He doesn't have time this week. This one he throws out of duress. That was actually a good play by Cornelius to get rid of it because the difference is he had time to roll out and throw last week. No such thing this week as East is pinning them back and just going right after this Firestone team. Yeah, and they're going to bring in the punt team. No sense in trying to muff up a long fourth down situation. The offense, again, sputtering. Darshawn Williams back in punt formation the punt for the Falcons. And Cornelius here on the sideline looks frustrated and rightfully so. Kicks it straight up. It's going to hit at the 35 and come down to the 36. So a punt of about 20 yards. He's going to have to earn it this time. They're all the way out at the 36. <laughs> their defense has oh. been. Their defense has been uh, as advertised. Very quick, very fast, high intelligence. And a little lucky, you could say, this time around as well. Yeah, because they, they've got some good plays going on. Twenty-yard punt sets up now. First and ten. The Dragons looking to hand the ball off left side. Nothing there on the line. Bounces it outside, and he continues to move forward. He'll have a gain of seven on the carry. But if you remember, we had him quite a few times last year. He's very slippery. I mean, it looks guys get guys looks like they have him about one or two yards. He he not that he has to run through. He kind of just slips through that first contact so often for seven-yard gain. Certainly one of the better backs in Summit County. Second down and three now. That's the Dragons. Very different styles too as just how the plays come in and, and watching. And this team, two wide outs at the bottom of your screen, not doing four wide, looking to throw down the sideline, completed. And he'll have a first down for sure, a gain of about eight. Nice safe throw, little hitch route, and he let the wide receiver do the rest. Brimage, yep, Deshaun Brimage. So his first pass is a completion. Is Collins pass? Collins, a junior, been at the helm of the team for a while now. Able to make little plays here and there with his arm and his legs. This time again looking to do with his arm across the middle. Has a man there in single coverage. Threw a little bit behind the intended receiver. Yeah, not open there as Moore had a chance to maybe pick that off, but he knocks it away. He went for a whole run there. Yeah, Jerome Hall was the intended target. And you can see how been able to run the ball pretty effectively. Had the little. Um, but we got a flag, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Roughing the passer, I believe. Or they call it interference. Half the distance penalty on the Falcons. So, first and ten. So even when they seemingly did something positive, it doesn't work out as such. Hands the ball off into the arms of a Falcon a linebacker coming across. It's going to be uh, Jalen Johnson. No place to go for Floyd. Yeah, loss of a few on that one. His sixth carry already in the game. Just under four minutes here in the first quarter. It's uh, been a little slow. It hasn't been a lot of flow on one side of the uh, the field here as the Falcons have turned the ball over and are a bit inept offensively. The Dragons, this is their 
furthest distance and furthest drive they could put together of uh, 35 yards if they can get in the end zone. They've had 19 and one. So the defense has played outstanding and they'll take a timeout. While we have a break, we can uh, talk with Coach Mitchell about how they did last week, a very different performance as they played very well against North. Coach, can you tell me a little bit about uh, what went well last week in your win? Last week, I thought we uh, defensively came out and played aggressively. Um, offensively, like I think we controlled the line of scrimmage. We were able to run the ball and pass the ball um, when we wanted to, and that's, that's the key for our success. We want to pass it when we want to, not when we have to. Preparing for this week's game, how did you prepare your team differently so far? Well, we know that he's a very physical team, and um, at practice, you know, we've done a lot of hitting this week to make sure that our kids were prepared physically and then mentally. You know, we, we had to tell them that, hey, East is the city champion. If you want a championship, you got to go through these guys. What? And certainly uh, correct on what he had said so far as I looked to pass the corner of the end zone, a jump ball in the end zone. No flags down as they tried a little deep post route. And that one, I believe, went to Jay Sean Robinson. Yes, sir. Uh, the easiest you are correct, is. sir. Yeah, no, not, they make you earn it, don't they? Whoops. You had Brimage or you had Robinson? Robinson. Oh, thanks. One for three. <laughs> Collins looking to pass this side. Bottom of your screen. Laser thrown no, right along throw. the five-yard line, and that one is complete. The only way you're not going to catch that one is. That one, number one, Jerome Like taking Hall. it off your jersey. Yeah. Real nice job by Collins stepping up into the pocket. Give him nine. Second, second target for Hall as he gets that one. Roll that clock. And now we're at fourth down and four yards to go. They could still get they're a first down here. They say they're on the five yard line. And the offense is still out there with 310 here in the first quarter. So they're with a, two, with a two score lead, aren't aren't taking the, uh, the foot off the accelerator as they line up. Might see a hard count again as we saw last time. Maybe some bootleg action here for Collins. Collins gets everyone under control on the line. Or toss is right. Uh, he loses get it. the handle. But he didn't have anywhere to go with it, and fourth down turns into turnover on downs as he loses, loses two yards on that. And I think a lot of it to do, when I saw him, do you think he was just bobbling the ball, or do you think he was supposed to get it and try and make that pass to the corner of the end zone? No, I think I think the bobble, though, I think it, it killed his momentum and allowed, gave the defense a chance to pursue. It was just a little bit on his back hip, and when he didn't get it clean, Forget about it. Nice hold for the Falcons here. For really their first sign of life. Um, nice defensive stop by the Falcons D. But still take over in bad field positions. They need to get it. They need to pop a big play. At least flip the field here. This is going to be their fourth possession here in the first quarter. Uh -oh. All those off his shoulder pads. And we almost had another interception. Jay Sean Robinson had his eyes on a second one. Yeah, pass, pass intended for Johnson. It looked like a miscommunication there too. Didn't no, I'm sorry, not Johnson, uh, Justin Moore. Yeah, Moore didn't look like he was ready for the ball to come to him. Maybe a miscommunication, and that's one thing about not huddling up. Could have got the wrong call. Second and 10. Four wide again. Oh, there's Three another the fumble. Screen. And a snap is dropped or not received by the quarterback. And again, that's on Cornelius. Looks rattled right now. He knows the rush is coming. Just took his eye off it for a second. Nice play by Mitchell to get on top of it. Loses two. So does that go to, that goes to Mitchell, right? Yeah. yeah. Considered a, I guess it's a fumble. It's not really a carry. It counts as a carry, though. 
counts as negative yardage. Again, a bad snap, bobbles it a little bit. I think he handed it off and he did, and the result's still the same, moving backwards. And that is just not a good position. DeAndre Jones on the carry? No, it was Mitchell again. Mitchell again. Yay. Nothing he can do. <laughs> again, the center position was part of two plays, certainly on this drive, that were bobbled, and certainly the big play that where it went right past his quarterback. Yeah. Fourth and 14, and they'll punt from the back of the end zone with 132 here in the first quarter. Snap gets to him. Kick is away. It is high. It's a good kick here. Going to hit at the 38-yard line, take a Firestone bounce to the 46. I heard from the press box here we have a flag down, so let's see what it's going to be hard for. to see their flag. Some, maybe get some tied. Oh, personal foul on East. That will be a first down for the Falcons. I don't know what the personal foul was for. There is uh, probably could be on the kicker because there's a lot of pressure coming to that kicker a little late. Yeah, I mean, I, I, didn't, see, I didn't see a lot of pressure no until micro, late. No microphone said, yeah. today. Yeah. That would be nice. Yes, it would because it is hard to see with that light. Not looking right. I like the the communication from the field coming down. Here, I guess. <laughs> no mistakes. Because clear signals, what would that do? Boy, that gets them out of their own end zone. They need a couple hey, more first downs to flip I, the field. Here. I'd like three more plays to get this figured out. That's a good thing. Third penalty on the Dragons for 30 yards. And they're going to hand this one off. Switches hands on the ball carrier and gains about two yards on a long run down the, down the, down the line. Paris Gladman, our ball carrier. Right, we're going to give the ball to somebody new, I guess. Let's get someone, someone else to take the bad juju off the ball. I guess. He got five, so yeah. <laughs> they had a good mesh there, and they, they sealed the end. They were able to get outside. Yeah, I'm sure Mitchell was like, hey, man, why can't I get blocking like that when I got the ball? There's a little pump fake goes. On the stop and go, but the ball hits the sidelines. If you were one of the players getting water on the sideline, you would have been able to catch that. I mean, that, that but the play was there if it would have stayed inbound. I mean, that wasn't even close. Maybe he thought the second line was, was inbound. Everything looks rushed right now, and he had time. He's uh, one for eight so far, passing with six yards and an interception. So I think it's time to run the ball. One for, well, seven, because one was negated by penalty, so. Oh, sorry. I'll, I'll make it sound a little better. Oh. <laughs> potato, that, you're, potato. You're right, that does sound better. <laughs> <laughs> and you could give him a second completion if it counts the other team. Maybe give him a first down, too, maybe. Uh, looks close from our top referee. Yeah, I'm going to give it to him. <laughs> they need it. Hey, the player is looking, hey, can we get a first down signal? The uh, good, good, good spot about two yards past the mark. No kidding. Where did that spot come from? Let's give him seven. I guess seven. I'm, I'm losing a little faith in my top referee up there. Come on, bud. You got to be on spot. You only got uh -oh. to be Tackled in the backfield. And a huge tackle and taken down by Dearis Reese. Nowhere to go. And Mitchell again. Hey, thanks, guys. No blocking when I get the ball. Yeah, th thanks for that, guys. Who was that, Mitchell? Five. Let me guess. Yeah. Man, they are keying on him. Three straight losses. Now, one he actually ran one and was just a drop ball. That one was bad. And that'll be the end of the first quarter here <coughs> as our score 12-0, the East Dragons over the Firestone Falcons here from George Auton Stadium here in beautiful East 
nothing. For, I'm sorry, beautiful Ellett with East winning this one so far. This Saturday, come out. City Series football right here on APS 15. <coughs> Excuse me, supported by Akron Public Schools. Look at, look at that one that I'm not supposed Start to over. use. That was, I'm not supposed to use that one. Akron Public Schools for enrollment opportunities at akronschools.com. Akron Public Schools, the smart choice. Also, City Series football right here on APS 15, supported by Akron Public Schools for Education Department, where students, where over 95% of students have passed the Ohio proficiency test or the Ohio graduation test and earned a high school diploma. For more information, visit apscareers.com. So the good news is, is the Falcons get to be on this side of the field, which they haven't been on yet. The bad news is, is they're going the opposite direction. So they're very used to the right side of the field. They've been near the end zone, in the red zone. Now, now they got to go back to where yeah, this grass is fresh over here. There's still dew on it. No one's been running around or stomping it down. There should be tons of tread. Second down and 13 as we start the second quarter. And what? And what? Back to back timeouts. You know what? Know. This ain't looking right. Timeout, Firestone, second of the quarter. I just need to pay some more bills, probably. All right. Good news is uh, we have another. Oops. No, we don't. <laughs> well, it's take a while. Well, so far, what's the highlights of the turnover so far in this one game as we reset the first quarter? Two touchdowns for Devonier Floyd. One from six yards out. One from one yard out. Pretty biz business like. Smash mouth on defense and, and just a mix of run and pass on offense for the Dragons in there. Um, seems like they're up more, only 12 nothing right now, but it seems like uh, they just haven't had any big plays yet because they haven't needed to. They're going to make a play here in the flat. I got the pause of when I was done. So I gotta, we'll work on that at halftime. <laughs> Technology. That one was caught by Moore. I should write that. But seems important. That's that's what you did for the timeout. Good news, no. <laughs> it was a completion, but we didn't gain any yards. That's that's what really throws them off. Lots of completions, no gain of yards. It's it's it, they're struggling up here. Okay, so we did lose yards. Brings up third down. I got marked down correctly. It's going to roll right. Pressure there. Spins away from it. Pressure behind him. Uh -oh. Flips it out. And they're going to say it was not caught. It was very close and would have got him two yards. Yeah, again, Cornelius, a nice escape artist job. But there was just no one open and no time to throw. Firestone will be forced to punt again. Dominating performance so far by this East defense. So Moore's had three targets. And a catch. I get a two yards. It's a tough day offensively. Well, they got 20 yards total, I think, in the game. So, not they have more yards in the penalties than they do. If they could give the ball more to Gladman, he's got positive yards. Kick down, takes a big hop. He's going to have to come back to the 24 yard line to be able to get it where it comes down. Breaks the tackle and has a huge hit. We have a flag in midfield where two players are walking away from one another. And we have some other stuff going on outside of that. Big hit was delivered by Zion Carr. Everybody seems okay. The flag, flag down here down. on the near side. I think we're going to have a bit of uh, personal fouls and offset. Let's go. I didn't see it, did you? No, but I saw the players walk away. Uh huh. And I assume that it was kind of like the walk of shame. Seven. We're still deciding what it is. 
A little bit tough. Looks like. Personal fouls that offset. Okay. Fantastic. That's two guys doing extracurriculars. Yes. Not the approved kind that are with an Akron Public School. <laughs> the bad kinds that get you penalties. I wanted to separate that out because there's great extracurriculars here in the Akron Public Schools. Falcons rush in and trying to take advantage of it, and they do. Uh -oh. They run right side, right where the player was coming in late. It's going to be a 14-yard gain for the Dragons. Great heads-up play by their team to see someone coming in late and not in position and running right where they were. That was Floyd. Yeah, he hit the hole there. 14 yards and off and running he went. He was one away from busting it. As they set up now again, first and 10 from the 45. Looks to hand it off Speed again play. to him. The bell cow keeps going and he is off to the races on that one. He's going to have 24 yards on the carry. And sometimes, partner, you make it simple. You run the play until they stop. You know what I mean? There's, sometimes there's being creative. There's nothing more demoralizing to a team when you know what's coming and you can't do it. Stop it. I like how you said it quietly, like you were having a secret. It was like a secret. Yeah. Same play, different back. Now he got tired from running 30 yards. <laughs> and now we have a flag down. That one's going to come back. This one, is, can you give me a running back Yeah, that's number? our other running back, Claude Williams. Okay. So it would have been a nine-yard gain plus whatever. He's lightning, thunder, lightning. <laughs> we're going to trademark this. Barner, Mac. Thunder and lightning. Whoa, we're going way back. Trademark. We have a flag. And we got, I didn't see that. A hold. What was that? Holding on the dragons. So I don't think you that all. That's not right. count that right. I already wrote it down. What no, you saying? don't write it down. You told you to stop keeping stats. Pencil. Pencil. If I don't keep amateur. stats. Amateur. Amateur. If I don't keep stats, I'm going to start talking about off the wall stuff. I, I got to stay focused. <laughs> As compared to <laughs> any other that's, that's when we start talking about favorite, you know, burrito places and it's just never So they're so good run by Williams. Six on this one. He just steamrolled. Well, it was a little different this time. We went in between the uh, the guard and not off tackle. And I could probably tell you what this play is. So run off the tackle. In you, my guess? you know what they're you know what they're setting up with all these runs off tackle. A great play. A great play action play. wide open. I'm gonna go off tackle first. And we got another flag down. So we had a first down. Let's see. And, and then there's a one. second flag. I got plenty of flags here. So you gotta throw a flag. You gotta get up in there. I don't like the nonchalant. Yeah, because he's like walking away, just throwing a second one. I guess everyone can see that. Whole point. <laughs> Oh, what Joe was referring to is the nonchalant throw while you're not really facing the play. Makes you look unengaged. I don't know what the call is, though. Let's, let's listen for it here. It should be a good amount of feedback. All right, holding on the defense. Face mask. What? What was that? A hit to the head? Yep. Is there an ejection? What? Low to the head. Like a, like a hand to the head? So that's a personal foul? Yeah, but no, he just did this. I don't know what that means. Nobody's leaving. No. Okay. But so if it wasn't a punch, it could be a blow to the head. But it should be, come on, I, I never went to fishing school first. Then this. Gosh. <coughs> so the ball is moved up to the 10 yard line. So first and goal. Great presentation on the left side as he got lit up, though. And he ran left by. side right on by him as the block He's sealed it off. And just like that, from 10 yards out, Floyd has got his third touchdown in the game. Put six, another six points up on the board. 
in this drive. Uh, where did we start? We started at the 40, 55 yard drive. Yeah. Oh boy. After. And the Dragons, uncharacteristically, being over penalized tonight, if you ask me. Conversion from 25. And. Yes. He got it. <laughs> Why not? And then, all right, let's go. Come on. So 12-yard carry, they thing. Stripes better get control of this one here pretty soon. So they're saying it's 12 yards out. It could have been yeah. 12. It would be, be from the 17, three. Right? It'd be from, it's from the 18. 18. All right, 18. I'm going to go 18. All right, personal foul. Yeah, we, we can't hear what you're saying, but... So give him the two-point conversion, too. No, I don't think so. I don't think they're getting a two-point conversion. I think they're going to replay the two-point conversion, but from the two this time. Or maybe maybe the touchdown didn't count. I don't know. I'm very confused. There's no why, signals. Why is our down marker not where the ball is? I'm also very confused. All right, so... That was that was a touchdown, partner. The, fir they, the, the fir first, the first one, the second one was yeah. That that one just there was a touchdown. Okay. And the so, so the, the first, first one was not the touchdown. Twenty-four yards was not a touchdown. So now we have a ten-yard touchdown, and now we have a timeout to talk about it. Okay. So the, I have no idea. All right, we're gonna take a break. <coughs> Peter and uh, no, we're gonna give a signal. We God, I'd like one. Hope they're not getting evaluated tonight, guys. Hey, you know <laughs> the good news is is City Series football right here on APS 15 is provided by Career Education Department. So if you want to be something other than a bad official, you students have access to over 1,000 different apprenticeships and can earn national credentials in career education programs before they graduate from high school. For more information, visit APSCareers.com. Well, so I don't, I don't know which stats are. So the 24 is no good, but the 10 yards is good. Negate the 24. No, give him eight, 18. Give him a, a 10 and then an 18 for the touchdown. So 10 and 18. So yeah. he's got so 10 carries for. No, 11 carries. No, the one got negated because of the penalty. Actually, it's it nine should be carries. 10 and 8, right? Or 10 and, no, 10 and 18. His, nine, his eighth carry got negated. It's actually, he only has nine carries. All right, I'm going to go here. And a touchdown. I'll, I'll give you the yard here in a second. I'm going to go 18 yards. All right. Yeah. So this is the extra point, I believe. 58 <laughs> yards, three TDs on the day for Devonier Floyd. They're gonna go, now they're going for two for real this time. Throws up to the corner. I can't see if anybody's there. It doesn't no. look like it. So that is no good, and it stays 18-0 here with 9.38 here in the second quarter in what feels like should be the fourth quarter because it's just not. Because. We're going to have a talk. We're going to have a talk at halftime. we got to get things together. Both on the football Up here? field. No. We're yeah. good. I'm going to have a talk with you, Joe. I'm going to talk with Peter. We gotta get our stuff together. No, we're ready. We this, gotta look good. No, well, it's hard. You can't look good. Right. In spite of, we gotta look good in spite of. A flag on every other play, and no signals. We'll, we'll see what we can do. We'll just make it up. Why are, there, why are there three officials down there? Can you answer me that question? Where? Why are there three officials? Down there? Thought, where are they? They're all down there. Well, there's only like two that are down there. When a ball will never be kicked that far. There's nobody right here. All yeah. <laughs> There's two up here. 
There's supposed to be two here. I don't know what's going on. Are we missing one? Number two, Josh Where are you? I ejected him. That way now. Oh, that's a, that's a my bad. I gave the wrong signal. We're going the other way. Was that was that what that one was? That's. Partner, that wasn't that isn't the official that's been out there. Did, are they down one, or is he back? Here? No, there's one here. There's oh, he's three back, back here. here, and then. There's, Why there's is he back guy. here when he's doing all the signals? Did they I switch? Don't I don't know, man. I'm, I'm confused. Is this the first game I've ever done? I've been doing football for a while. They're going to kick it off, and the players are going to tackle one another. That's all we know. That's all I can guarantee you. And now we're going to the bottom of the screen. We kind of look like we're going to hand the ball off, and now we're not. And we're going to get to a four-yard line. Everybody just be nice to one another. We don't want any more flags, okay? I know I'm saying it quietly over my microphone, but I want all the players to hear that. Best field position by far for the Falcons. Yay! It's all right. Clear down. All right. So they're going to get the ball. That's a good thing. Wow. 52 minutes, and we still have 9.30 left in the second quarter. Get your second tape out, Peter. Oh, we got another player down for East now. We got they're down both sides. All right. Well, we got two players down, Peter. So we're going to take a quick break, and uh, when football resumes, we'll come back. We're watching high school football right here on APS 15. So Firestone takes over, but without their quarterback on the field who just helped the injured player off the field. So the complexity continues. First and 10 from the 45-yard line. Our uh, new quarterback is uh -oh. uh, River Collins. No, sorry. Uh, I have no idea. Nine. I thought he was nine. He is, and there's no nine on here. Uh, I'm going to say it's Sean Gates. That's my guess. And Gladman ran it for negative five. I'm, I'm going to guess it's Sean Gates. He looks about five. Ten. Yeah, he's not five seven, which the other quarterback listed is, he is Denver not. Harding. Yeah, I think I'm going to go Sean Gates. He just has a different number. On. Okay. They got Cornelius out wide. Okay. Oh, now they're going Wildcat. I, don't, I didn't think the game was over. So he fakes the pass, gains two yards. Try to give him a different look with Darshawn Williams. It just seems odd, Joe, that so many changes offensively, and, and you're really only down three scores. Have scored. you seen their offense so far? Under, <laughs> understand, understandably, but how is this offense better than what you had? Can it, I don't see how it can be any better. I don't. I also don't understand why your quarterback's helping injured players. He's back on the in. Field. He's no, back he's in. He's over there. He's right there on the sideline. Oh yeah. Well, where is he at? Right there. Well, maybe they took him out. Uh, maybe put a different number on. He throws this one up. Has a man there, and flag's going to be thrown for pass interference. Yeah. Pass intended for Williams. And East was beat. So maybe not a bad 15-yarder there. The problem is it's their like four 15-yarder. We're just saying it's Gates. We really have no idea. And agree to agree. And we will have a first down off this penalty. Dude, here's the problem with the Dragons right now. That is the third major penalty that they've had to give Firestone the first down in this first half. Devier Garrett, the injured player on the sideline. 5'9". Running back, defensive back is a junior. And they also had Cornelius, their 6'5", 230-pound quarterback carrying on the field. <laughs> you, you, you're you're all over it, dude. I don't understand that. And he's not playing quarterback right now. So 
Maybe he's hurt, but well enough to carry injured players off the field. Great second effort on the completed pass to Moore. Well, he's completed just as many passes as Grenade as I'll give him. Nope. Well, he committed two passes for four yards. Yes. So how, how far was that one? Four Three yards. Down. To Moore? I have four yards to Moore. Moore, that's four his more. second reception for two yards. Yeah. He's been uh, targeted four times. He's like venture quarterback? I don't know. Yeah. I guess. Slow snap. Gets rid of it quickly. Yes. And they're moving the sticks now. An eight-yard reception by Moore. Two consecutive completed passes, and they're going right back to the no huddle offense. And they almost had enough time to, to get East coming off the field. Those are those are tricky plays. They're just ready, no huddle, and they run off the field, and you yep. grab them. That's a Tom Brady type play. Four wide, five wide, I'm sorry, by the Falcons. Gates under center. Throwing the freshman out there. Gets the snap, looking right. Fakes it, runs up, cuts Ooh, back inside. Cut. He's going to have a first down, a gain of five. Nice job by the youngster. So they're first down. Still looking at the uh, player beneath us here, Devere Garrett on the sideline. Some motion running around for the Falcons now. First down from the 36 yard line. Six minutes here in the second quarter. Or the second century. Oh, again, they say. snapped it when he Snap wasn't goes ready. right through. Oh, he had a false start first. They'll big, take that. They will take that. Help. I think we're, we're not going to call them quarters for the rest of this game. We're going to call them centuries. <laughs> Five yards. Well, it's good they didn't get that playoff part because... You're going the wrong way. That snap again came when he was looking. He was looking over here. So. Now, is that the defense yelling in his ear? And that him just not, uh, not hearing his quarterback? Motion I coming by your screen. Well, hand sweet. the ball to him. He cuts up field and runs into four dragons. He is going to get a gain of five. Big hit. Is Mitchell is down. Big hit there, right on the shoulder it looked like. I think he just has dirt in his ear. That's what it looks like. But he's up. Uh, he's, he's a little, he's, he's he's, a little shaky. Yeah, he got through. Dude, he's been... Good game there, but he got drilled with a shoulder, either in his shoulder or even maybe in the in the head area. See what they're looking at over here. Uh, the crowd is telling him to shake it off. Which, if, if you're seeing three of the trainer, that's yeah. <laughs> Go back to the wildcat here. Does the Falcons? Taylor Swift shake it off. Not concussions. Fakes the pass. Continues forward. Give him a yard, maybe. Yeah. Long third down situation. So it's taken him two series to kind of figure out his game so far. Well, I like them running the ball because that runs the clock, too. Too many throws earlier. And so we are in the second century. Four <laughs> minutes left in it. Today, today, today. Four wide as they look for the play call. I feel full beard by the end of this one. Yeah. My kids will be grown by the time I get home. That ball goes uh -oh. by him again. This time, no flag to help him. He jumps on it. It'll be all oh, we do have a flag down at the line of scrimmage too. It'd be uh, oh. ne negative 17 yards. But let's see what this separate flag is. 
before I write it down in pen. What's why, why can't you jog over there to tell him? And we got a hole. Nah, I think I'll decline that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take the negative 17 on the snap. It's the third time we've seen that. Fourth time. Yeah. It's all blending together. Uh, well, was that, that to this century it, or was that last century? It was in the first century. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's hard to remember. Was that? We didn't write it down. BR or AR? Before <laughs> rainbow or after? That's no. we, I told you we should have written a book. That's how you remember things from the past. You're right. Kick is away off fourth Ooh, and 27. Really good kick. Goes back to get it, and I'm not sure he really had a hand up for it was a fair early. catch, but he tried and he got it, and they will take over on the four-yard line. So great kick yeah, by Boomer by guy Sean Williams. There. <laughs> As we go back to Browns lore, when their MVP was punter Chris Gardaki, that's been their biggest play of the night right there. The punt pinning them at the 10-yard line. Yeah, when your MVP is your punter, and we're talking about professional football team, the Browns, that one year. You know things are not going very well. Well, you did say professional football team. That might have been your first clue. <laughs> <laughs> professional. What part is the professional part? I mean, like the facility part? No. Does it not the player part? You mean where they had all their staff productions, that facility? <laughs> to start to I mean, like the lunchroom part, first class. First class luncher. So we Floyd. Yeah, did we gain any yards? Yeah, it looks like yard. we got. Yeah, give me. Yards. I'm gonna give. Him, I'm gonna. I'm gonna listen to you. I'm gonna give him one yard. Thank you. My yards are all. I have 12 carries. I have no idea about. You're wrong. I told you he's got. He's got 10 now. You said it. He has one, 11. No, that one was negated by the oh. penalty. Oh, okay. 11 minus one is. <laughs> I gotta wait till he gets to 12 and just catch up. Oh, that's Blitz all coming. sides. Running right side, gets around the corner, stumbled a little bit, and he's in a gain about one yard. One yard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's uh, run, that's I love the, it. Uh, the 11. That was Claude. Oh no. I told you, stop. Just, 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 just stop. Yeah, I'm in it now. Oh boy, they gave him like three yards in. Come on, marker boy. Claude, who's Claude? Claude Williams. Oh, I see. You want to call him Clyde? That would be wrong. Well, I was thinking about it. <laughs> I mean, that that name is cool. it's kind of first century name. I'm thinking of the second century. Looking right, has time, fires high and caught for a first down, breaks one tackle and he can't get away from the others. But Hall, Gets it in. <clears throat> He'll have a gain of 17 on the carry or on the catch. And Collins now three for six passing. Real good job by number 53, Darrell Glover, picking up the blitz from the blind side of his quarterback Collins, and he looked like the guy had a clear pass, and he just chipped him enough on the arm to to slow him up. Gave Collins that passive lane. Two minutes left here in the second century. <laughs> Peter definitely likes that one. In the shotgun, delay trying to hand it off, and he does. Even fooled me for a second there. I'm like, I don't know if he fooled Peter. That was Ky that was Kyrie Williams, not Kyrie Williams. Yeah, that was Kyrie, number four, in a quarterback there. Who did he give it to? What's our uh, game three? Who who did he give it to there? I thought you said he gave it to Williams. No, Kyrie was on was a, was in the shotgun. He is again. I think he gave it to Williams. That's who I was gonna give it to, and he said it was Kyrie. Okay. I'll, I'll erase that. Right there. He's looking to throw the oh, left side. Oh, gun! Big gun on a lot of people up and down. No, I don't think he was looking where he was supposed to be looking. I'll be honest with you. That guy, <laughs> I don't think he was looking. <laughs> So when when you guys kind of pushed out one another, I don't think it, I don't really think you really saw. It. So who passed the ball? Is that Kyrie? I don't like seeing Kyrie. It's bothering me. I know. Can we just call him Williams? Number four. Let's call him Kid Up. So who threw the ball? Did Collins throw the ball? No, Kyrie's in. That's what I said. 
I'll, I'll get it. Speaking of Kyrie, you, how, what do you think his reception is when he comes back? Bad. They were like, they were like, I think, the, I think he's gonna get some cheers. I'm like, no, he's not. No, he's gonna gosh. get booed. Now I will do you say, know what a Cleveland fan he is? will not get booed as much as LeBron. No, he shouldn't. But he should get. He's a, still he gonna get. get a, oh. I mean, a whole game. What would I do? I, I would just boo. Cause he, yeah, he didn't leave, but he left. Big run on the right side. And let's see, from the 34, where's our market? That was Ryan Collins on the team. Good luck with that one. Yeah, I don't know. So it's from the 35-yard line. So it's more than 25. Maybe. Where did he run out at? He stopped running at like the 20-yard line. <laughs> Seriously, where's the positive play at? Where's it marked? Did it not exist? He stepped out of bounds right at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, but it's, fir it but it's first down. How's it first down then? <laughs> I. Did he get the, the inch that he needed, or? <laughs> All right. Okay. It's I'm like Twilight Zone. I'm gonna give him four. All right, me too. Is that Williams? I think unless Collins changed his jersey. Nine? Throwing again, up and incomplete. Williams not there. There's a flag. flag. See, because that guy up there knows what he's doing. This guy down here doesn't know what he's doing. And that's what the coach is saying. He's like, hey, that happened on this side, and nothing was called. Brings up second down, and we have a flag. I don't like it. I think Peter will still make it look good somehow. I think it's possible. <laughs> I don't know if even Peter has the magic. Fifteen yard dust penalty. Closely. See if we would have had a penalty on the last play, but he ran out of bounds, but somehow he got a first down. We don't really know how many yards he got. Let's recap. Okay. Back to the first, first century. Before the first century. Okay. The game started with a delay of game before a ball was even kicked. Should have told us we were in for a marathon in the first half. You know And from that point forward, that was the best call the refs made the whole night and it wasn't. <laughs> hey, and <laughs> that's when you told me that I was starting late and we didn't have a team out here. Oh, you, you called it. We were going to start five till. That's what I said. And then I'm sitting here, to, you know, talking with Joe. There's no Firestone team out here. And he's like, hey, the clock just expired. Teams are lining up and there's no Firestone. Hands the ball off. I think he's still in balance this time. Nope, that's Kyrie. That's my, that's my guess. So it would be 25 yard carry. Yeah. Yeah, did I hear a fiver from there? I 43 still seconds still left for East. Kyrie was running, so right? Is a first down. Kyrie oh, ran of course. It. Did Kyrie run it? Don't worry. You gotta talk. Yes, he did. Okay. Yes. Answer the question. <laughs> My patience is gone here in the second century. <laughs> Time out. So let's recap. Okay. Okay. Um, couple of bad turnovers and a lot of penalties and an hour and a half later it's the Dragons 18 and the Falcons 0. 43 seconds left. Back to you Dave. <laughs> Here in the second century we're just going to end the game. <laughs> Halftime. We're going to change it up because usually you get a snack at halftime and you got a whole second half to watch. I'm going to have to hit the we're buffet. Gonna, <laughs> we're we're going to change it up this game and we're going to have halftime. We're still going to have the snacks. We're not taking the snacks away. Not taking away the hot cocoa. But we're just going to go home afterwards. How about that? I just want to go home. Yeah, we're just, just going to go home afterwards. It's a little different, but just think about that. Like the hot cocoa will get you to the car warm instead of coming back to the stands and watching the second half. Because this is going to be terrible. You don't want to watch the second half. Yes. I kind of, it's kind of like, like when you look at an accident, you want to see the carnage. You got like how many guys in stripes out there? That's constant carnage. But it's not like it's 40 to nothing either. It's just there's no flow because All of right. what we've mentioned. First and 10, 43, 43 seconds here. left here in the second. Hands the ball off right gone. side. And he is in the end. <laughs> just checking, just checking. 15 yards out. Boy, that was. That's his 12th carry, right? And his fourth touchdown, and that is what I call efficient. Uh, when did this drive start? Did it start from the 45 yard line? Who knows? I don't remember now. Let's see. They, what do they do? They punted it uh, to the 42. Oh, no, it started their 10 yard yeah, line. Yeah, 10 yard line. Yeah, 90 so yard drive. drive. In about, what, three minutes' time? 
Two and a half minutes? Uh, three fifty-one. Okay. Gonna go for two. So a drive of uh, three minutes and twenty seconds. He's throwing left sidelines. No, it's way incomplete. too far. Well, Williams has uh, thrown three passes and not not completed any of them. Williams is back. So that has been the Achilles heel, has been two-point conversions for the Dragons, 0 for 4 on extra points and two-point conversions. They get another touchdown here in the second century. And it's almost over, folks. If you can, if you can believe it. If you just believe it. Well, 24 to nothing here at George Otten Stadium. 12 in the first and 12 in the second for the Dragons. We're not done yet, Joe. There's still no, so somebody, plenty. Somebody's still got a timeout that they can use. That's seems a cute like picture of your kids. I thought you were showing me your kids. Hey. Uh, yeah. Hey. That's that's my kids at the beach. Daughter's Very cute, aren't they? I saw. Uh, oh, I'm not sure here after the kickoff. I don't want to take people away from this exciting action. 34 <laughs> seconds left. Kicks the ball straight down the field. It's going to be caught at the seven yard line, brought up to the 20 yard line. Cuts right. Cuts left, falls down, is tackled. And they'll take over at the 26 yard line. On the return, Justin Moore. Saw pictures of when my son Carter, when he was two years old, he ran the kids race at the Akron Marathon. Oh, awesome. Which is like a mile. He ran the whole thing? So he 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 ran the whole thing. I mean, That's like, awesome. He kind of chugged along, because he was, he was kind of chunky when he was little. <laughs> He's just motoring, but it's like slower than a walking pace. <laughs> and I remember they, they cheered for him as he finished the race, mainly because they were closing up the whole thing. <laughs> I'm like, hey, good. He's like, did he run the whole thing? Like, yeah, he's two years old. He wanted to run the whole thing. That's awesome. Determination. Oh, boy. And that should be the yeah. last play of the half. It's a loss of one yard and 17 seconds left. We, hey, just a timeout there. Who carried it? Number 26. 26. Why not add someone? Trayvon there? Davis. Davis. That's going to do it, partner. All Davis right. All right. Uh, there is the whistle. And that will do it for us here in the first or the second century going into the third century is what we'll come back to after halftime. 24 nothing. your score here from beautiful – George Alton Stadium here in LA. To Dave Schick, Joe Bukanski will be back with the second half. First half stats after this. Welcome back here as we're just wrapping up the halftime show. Teams are about ready to take the field again, and Joe has our first half stats. All Dragons in the first half, with, it, with the exception of their 80 penalty yards, they had 119 yards on the ground, led by Devonair Floyd, 11 carries, 81 yards. Four touchdowns, all the scoring so far in this one from Floyd. Jerome Hall with two receptions for 26 yards. They were three for seven through the air passing. Uh, but the story has been the two early turnovers in the defense. Firestone has only mustered 24 total yards. Um, and it would have been worse than that, although they lost a fumble on the, on the big loss. They'd actually be in negative yardage right now. So all Dragons defense and a little bit of Devonier Floyd. And 24 nothing is your score as we head to the third quarter, and it will be Dragons football. Yay! I'll have the uh, rest of my interview with both coaches here as we get into the second half. We've had uh, a bit of. Will that be before or after I pass on? <laughs> oh, we're into the third. <laughs> it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a fast half. Here, third watch. century. Oh, low onside kick. kick. Here. Short kick's going to be caught at the 45-yard line, and they'll take over from there. Catching it is number 43, Jordan Hayden. Good hands. Good hands, team. 
brought to you by Allstate. <laughs> hey, that took two seconds off the clock here as we're underway. Now we go. Let's see who comes out at quarterback for the Dragons. They, we saw a lot of Ryan Collins, and then we, they went to number four, Kyrie Williams, to end the first half. And they're going to go back to Collins here. Collins go, they go right on the ball, go with split backs. Full house behind him now. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Hands the ball off to the best play call they've had all game, and that's running off right tackle. And it's going to be a gain of 14 yards. And when you're not getting contact until you're nine or two, 10 yards into the field, that's, that's good news. And that run was by Brimage. We're gonna do some 14 yards for Brimage, his first carry in the game at all. Right up the middle, which we haven't seen too much on the tackle, yeah. is going to be uh, Raven Moss of the Falcons. He'll get five yards by keeping his legs moving. That brimage again. Yeah. Second in. Eh. Maybe six. Hands the ball off left side. Breaks one. Oh, doesn't get away from him. Floyd will go down. So no game for Floyd on his 12th carry. <coughs> Excuse me. What do you need? 13. No, 12. See, one's crossed out. Oh, yeah, just, yeah, boy, yeah. You just can't get that. I would have I corrected it. It's like me no, trying to learn how to tie a tie. It just took forever. That's because I just look at the number. I w I've already corrected myself on 12. You are correct. Sir. I can't. I can't make adjustments on the fly. And like Ron Burgundy, I'll just read whatever's on the sheet. Roll clock. There we go. Third down. Third down and four. As he's going to have to quickly get off the field as Hall. He does. Going with a tight right formation here. Yeah, looking to hand the ball off right. He has a blocker in front of him. First down for sure. Stays on his feet, and he'll get about 10 yards on the carry. They tell you exactly where they're going with that formation, and they just seal that right side. Justin Moore on the tackle. Twenty-five yard line, first and ten now. They've been just chugging along on this drive. Stumbles missed, a little bit coming out. Missed the out. handoff. I think the I think Man, somebody went the wrong way there. <laughs> he was looking for the back, and the back went the other way. I'm out of here. He said. He loses three yards. <coughs> so Collins. You know, being a quarterback, I'm going to say the running back went the wrong way. Right? It's only fair. It's easier, <laughs> it's, it's easier to blame somebody else. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Heard that one. Two wide receivers. It is loud up there. Screen. I meant to ask Pe Peter Rimage. about that is there, they look to go to him, he catches it, now he's gonna run back across the field. <laughs> why? Not really sure why. And, oh, he's a little slits through, and he'll gain positive yards, he'll gain seven on what is an odd passing play. I think if he turns that up, he probably gains the same thing. <laughs> so Collins gets his uh, first completion here in the second half. Brimage has got two targets on him so far, both of them from Collins. Third down and seven. 
8.30 here in the third century. Yeah, you're loving that. Uh, I thought I was going to go away from it, but I mean, he's got to be consistent. Looking to pass as Collins over the center. Beautifully thrown, but right through the hands of his intended yeah, target of all. Good throw by Collins. Third, sorry, fourth target for Hall. Able to haul in two of them so far. And, and as dominant as the Dragons have been defensively, they're going to look at this film and they're going to see a lot of um, things they need to clean up as well. Well, they're going to go fourth down and seven. Penalties and a couple drops. They're going for it. Four wide for Collins. Collins looks left, has time, throws Too over high. the head of Hall again. Incomplete. And we'll have a turnover on downs <coughs> here in the third. And conversely, as bad as things have been offensively for the Falcons, their defense has really not played all that poorly in this ball game. They've been on the field a lot. They've had the short field. But again, they've had a couple of nice, nice holds here. So 8.31 here in the third. And while we have the uh, turnover on, uh, on downs, we'll get uh, some insight from Coach Hayes about uh, some of his players. Or an area where the team's really grown so far this season. I think we've been able to grow, uh, grow a little bit in the passing game. Uh, last year we was primarily uh, a dominant running game. We were versatile in the running game last year. Uh, but this time, this year we're able to put the ball in the air a little bit more, which makes us a little bit more diverse. I think makes us a little bit more dangerous. And if you had to mention one, one thing was your strength for your team this year, what would it be? Office line. Office line was a strength last year. And we turned every last one of us. We put the strength still. We'll get some additional questions from and what coach, coach said. It, yeah, what coach basically said there is the strength la last year becomes the strength this year because everyone returns a year stronger, a year bigger, bigger, and smarter and more experienced offensive line tight win high school football. Looking right as they had trips that way. They threw it behind the line of scrimmage. He spins out of a negative loss, and he'll gain about uh, five yards on that. Nice play by Justin Moore to make the adjustment on the throw from Joe Namsik. Yeah, that was our who's now correction. Three, yeah, he's now three for four passing in, in, in relief. Yes. Uh, I was looking to see what play I missed. No, you're okay. Fourth reception for Moore. Hasn't ha hasn't gotten much yard. It's just been a possession guy so far, but sets up a manageable third and three. Movement there by the running back, Cedric Harris. They're going to get him for a false start. Ooh. I'm sorry. They're going to get the Dragons again. Oh, they fixed the microphone. He is in the ballpark. Yeah, the commentary is not showing. Uh-oh, another missed handoff. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, he had the ball out, but we blew the whistle pretty quickly. Called him down. That's a big out. Blow it one more time. He hit one more. So they... Doesn't this feel like a first scrimmage? Is that, I mean, instead of like week six? It's just the kind of flow, and a lot of that has to do with penalties and things like that. So for Namsek, he goes about negative six on that one. Yeah. I'm not going to put him. He doesn't need a whole line. He's running back. He's not going to run so They were coming after him hard. I and mean, good job. You could see. Oh, and they're coming again. Yeah. But, uh, really a good throw away there by Namsek because he easily could have been. A lot of speed on the edges there. 
Yeah, they're, they're not keeping enough guys in for as many guys are coming. Yeah, I, I'm still a little confused on why you bring the, I guess he's a, he's a, he is a senior, but you have your junior quarterback who's bigger that he's on the sidelines warming up. I don't know what he's doing. Again, have you, did you see the, uh, the offense so far? Uh, I, uh, either. You're saying why? it was too early. What I'm saying, why? You can't just pull guys. That doesn't really help confidence. Oh, but wow, he's got a man there. Oh, oh, good by about five yards. Williams was there, his fourth target. Mm. Pretty good ball there. Yeah. Probably Williams a, just couldn't come up. Maybe about a half a yard too much. They had a lot of height on it to go up and over. Yep. And that's where we saw a lot of problems with with Cornelius is, is not putting any air underneath it. Right. Look at this guy, not even on the roster that we had from from a couple games ago, and the senior coming in, like he's been practicing. <laughs> like he's been to going go. to practice, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, not like he just, hey, I'm, I'm thinking about playing football. Okay. And then you throw passes like that, that doesn't happen. Kicks this one away. End over end. Picked up in the middle uh -oh. of the field, runs up, stumbled up a little bit, and Gordon Brooks got him off his canter a little bit, and he does go down. By number 11, Gordon Brooks. Good return by Jay Sean Robinson. Six minutes left here in the third. So two punts out of the two possessions here. Last two possessions that the Falcons have had. Hello all, with support from the University of Akron offering career-focused education that prepares students for what comes after graduation. Join us. Setting it up now. First and 10 as they have their second possession here. Turnover on downs last time. But the offense seemed to be moving at times as they were able to drive the field, just couldn't get the first down, getting into the red zone territory. Fakes the handoff yep. and runs with it. And this is going to be Williams again. Gets away Ooh. from it and gains five yards. Yeah, they bring in the running quarterback. So he gains 15 on it. And Williams has a 25 yard run and a 15. And the clock continues to run. Now we know why they've gone to him. The team with a very good offensive line, and you have a, a running back, and you can see the running ability there. So you can <coughs> throw the ball pretty well, but runs the ball also very well. So you have an extra blocker with him in there. And he's still in the shotgun, four wide for him, looking right, running right, has a blocker in front of him, slows up and spins, and he'll get close to a first down. He'll gain seven yards. Kyle Williams, the ball carrier, brought down by number 17, Kevon Lee, number this five. This student body right, right there, all right? It's like single wing offense, which is a throwback into previous centuries. Second down. Or the previous century, I should say. Football is not hundreds of years old. <laughs> And it used to be played with a rock. <laughs> there was no balls. <laughs> it was the uh, hunters against the farmers. <laughs> you're actually chasing after pigs, and not the pigs game. <laughs> Number 17, Romeo Felton gets in on the carry action. Felton, no gain on his first carry. Could be one name or the other. Probably yeah. just one of them. Brought down by the Falcons number five, Cedric Harris. I got five or if you're a Dallas fan, it could be Romo. Romo. Third down. It's 
Stays in the shotgun. Nice. Pass is complete, and I think he's going to get a first down, so he'll get a gain of five. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Benches are supposed to be staying where they're at, but East has come off the bench. Now they're trying Not to get their players bad. back. So who caught it? So Mitchell, no. Four. Who, who caught it? Number four? Kyrie. No. Uh, Williams, ten. Sorry. So he catches it for five, five yards. Could have an ejection here, or two. Well, six Should yard, have an ejection. Six yards was what we had on the pass and catch, and our quarterback was Williams, right? Yeah, his yeah. first completion. First completion. He goes out of bounds, and the first flag was continuing to tackle him while he's out of bounds. Firestone, very disciplined state and rightfully so, on their sideline from across the field. East, some of East players came to the aid, I guess you could say, of players already wearing pads. Just do that, and you guys will be good. Roll the clock. It's going to be 15-yard penalty. I think it's going to offset. For a late hit. No, nah, I think it's going to offset. I think uh, both I guys. I think so. You I saw a lot of players come off the, out of their restricted area. I think you're going to have an unsportsmanlike on Firestone, an unsportsmanlike on, yeah. on this side, and then another unsportsmanlike and an ejection. You Any think, player. You think? Two unsportsmanlike. You think these guys are going to do that? Okay. That's what I, mean. I think they're going to just offset and not carry it. We've got a lot of hankies. So that show, well, you did off. You offset the first set. Uh, now these guys are separate. Now what, what are they doing now? They're saying, oh, wait a minute. We can't talk to all these guys. we got to figure out our why aren't they all talking? Mr. Umpire. See, this guy over here is kind of more the weaker link, so I think he's giving a little longer explanation. Because he, he's not really sure. Does anybody have a horn? I I do not have a horn. Uh, Got to learn on the field, but... <laughs> Heard that. If we keep going, this might go right into the JV game tomorrow morning. Yeah. Hey, that's why. I'm, that's it. We're going back to centuries. I said quarter once in this quarter, and look and what happened. Look what you did. You stopped. You, you. I am sticking with centuries. We're in the third century. We need to find Al, time. and I need to quantum leap. What a great show. Two minutes left in the. What? Wasn't that so underrated? That How was a great show. I would. I would. It would. To me, I would become what has happened with when you're playing music on your iPod and you just keep skipping forward. I would start quantum leaping all the time. Like, oh, so mad to do this. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> go. And I go to another time, and then somebody comes uh, like, we got to have leftover tonight? And I quantum really? leap another day. <laughs> what? I got to mow the grass? Should we quantum break? leap. <laughs> Should we break here? If we break, they'll probably figure it out. Ah, uh, no, they're breaking it. All right. See, he had to explain we're not, we're not what's going to happen. Let's see if we can. Because he's got to come to the coach. Oh, you can lift it up. Nothing's good. Right now. He's going to come over and say, "This is what he told me. You're not going to like it because one of your plays is out." Ooh. The crowd underneath us is not in favor of the call. So what do we have? We got a lot of walking. He's going to go this way. He's going to go back this way. How many unsportsmen likes? We got three unsportsmen likes? Four unsportsmen likes. Anybody get ejected? No, I don't think so. No ejections. Well. That's the next huddle. See, I w you got it. I had three ejections. I had three penalties and one ejection. So they went four penalties. How are they not? They're kind no, of Dave. all upsetting, aren't they? I didn't really hear it all because you are known to have that quick trigger. <laughs> Dude, I'm a strict ref. 
<laughs> it just it is what it is. How's this how's this hey, game make you feel tonight? It makes me feel like we need a little more practice. You, you, you got to be decisive. If you're going to be bad, be badly decisive. Not like No, you know, I'm not marking that off cuz this game stinks. Uh I'm just marking one of them off. You guys figure the rest out. See, I I would I would have told the guys like, "Listen, you're going to go talk to that coach. You're going to talk to that coach. We're going to mark this off." So literally, as soon as you get back here, we're, we're back playing football. This is taking too long. This is what's going to happen. And now they're going back and forward. You don't do that. You we're basically in the same spot where the foul was. I'm not sure why we walk back and forth. I feel your pain, Falcon fans. So first and five? No, they first don't know. First and ten. They got it. Because the sticks haven't moved. So literally, the sticks have not moved anywhere. But we have first. Could He's you saying, imagine hey. if we had instant replay? Now the stick, the, the guy holding the number is talking to the stick guy. I know they have actual titles. I don't know what they are. No one knows who they are. He's like, hey, if it's first down, you got to be down here. It can't be first and five. And now he's moving because he's like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> he might it's have to ask Gilby here in a second. <laughs> if we had a soundboard, you know how much fun we'd have a soundboard. Oh, soundboard. now you want to run the clock. Sure, Absolutely. <laughs> All right, first and 10, not first and five, from the 15-yard line. So how, how many penalties? I'm just going to no. give I'm gonna give two here and two here. And let everybody, everybody's got one. All right, so a gain of six. They got a long way to go to set that record that we had. Remember, it was, it was, it was Ken Warren Firestone. <laughs> Brimage got six. Oh, my God. There were so many penalties. Oh, and I they were big ones. Oh, oh every majors. single one was it a big would, one. It, if it was a hockey game, there would have been eight players left on the field. Get, wait. Are there any flags? I don't see any flags. All that right, was so awful. Brimage from eight yards out. It was Brimage as he gallops in. Run. Eight yards out for a touchdown. That'll put us over the 30 mark. 2.57 here in the third century of tonight's game. <laughs> it's still funny to me. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> uh, and then Brimage ran it in. His, his first touchdown in today's ball game. Uh, I'm missing something. Uh, it was, what was our drive? <laughs> 50. Uh -huh. You're missing Six, 60 yards. most of your 30s by being at this game. <laughs> 60 yards. Ah, I think it's, I don't remember. It was so long ago. Literally. Any chance at flow has been sucked out of the room by the pinstripes. Oh, it, they it, got it. Yeah. Hey, we hit a PAT. 31 to nothing. And it's not the score. It's just the flow of this one. We're at Some games are over already. We're just going to keep rolling. I don't know what's going on. Probably shouldn't set on my jacket. You'll be all right. Yeah, it's a little chilly, isn't it? Well... Hey, good news is is uh, we still have one more interview to listen to for <laughs> Firestone. Kay. This is too loud, this button. Yeah, you think? Yeah. Dee -doo, dee -doo. I think I need to go back. I think we should just listen to the whole interview. <laughs> I got to go back. <laughs> is that bad? Oh, yeah. man. It doesn't say how much. How much? A minute 40. You could do that. that that's like... Sure, why not? That's not even going to get us past this kickoff. <laughs> we'll do it after they get the ball. We'll be excited. Because I, it's about, I could listen to it. And Joe, if you take over play by play, I could get it. Up. Sure. Sounds good. Hey, Return, tackle. <laughs> over, over, under, we're going to have one more fight in this game. I'm guessing that one. One more. A half a fight then. So yeah. Half a fight. Uh, and you go sure. over, oh, it's over. Going over. All right, I'm going to find this interview. Darshawn Williams on the return, and Firestone will take over with good field position on their own 34 yard line. And coming back into quarterback is number seven, Cornelius. 
31 to zero is your score. Cornelius, another high snap. He struggles to handle, does not get back to the line of scrimmage. Now we'll give him a gain of a negative one. Really dominant performance by this defense. Aaron Johnson. Second down. As East looks to continue marching on, trying to defend their, their crown here in the City Series. And nothing doing there for number five, Cedric Harris on the carry. Good news, I have it lined up. It's good. Whenever, whenever you're ready, Joe. How about Fantastic right now? now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I did have a chance to talk with Coach Mitchell before the game about some of the players that have, have improved this season. Uh, we'll discount that it doesn't include tonight's game, so we'll go with the rest of it. So far in the season, um, a couple guys I've seen, uh, you know, our, our seniors up front, offensive linemen, which includes uh, uh, Greg Stevens, T. Harris, uh, Tyler Gray, and Jalen Johnson, and Jalen Morris. They've all taken steps um, in the right direction and improved every week uh, to help us uh, with our run game. You know, if we can run the ball with some success, it's kind of hard for teams to defend us because. We're pretty, we're pretty decent throwing the ball. What's uh, the one strength that you would tell your team has? Uh, we're we're going to come in. We got speed. Everybody's uh, pretty much back to 100%. And, you know, our skill guys uh, all can run, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to take advantage of that tonight. See? That only took us one play. Inside 10 seconds here. They fake the hitch, and they throw it up. That one's underthrown. He almost caught it on yeah. the ground. Good defense in single coverage out there. <laughs> on the coverage, Kyrie Williams, he shows you that catch-up speed as they tried the little hitch and go there. Incomplete, and after three quarters, it works all Dragons, 31-0 over the Falcons. City Series football right here in APS 15, supported by Career Education, where adult vocational services have been providing career training to adult learners for over 55 years. Over 350,000 people have enrolled in these customized programs designed to meet the ever-changing needs of Akron area business, industry, and government. For more information, go to APScareers.com. Also, City Series football right here in APS 15, supported by Akron Public Schools, offering the International Baccalaureate Program at Firestone High School. It's a rigorous two-year program designed to meet the highest academic standards for any high school student in the world. Akron Public Schools at akronschools.com. Back to you, Joe. <laughs> Fly ball caught. <laughs> We'll also have our signature player of the game brought to you by Fleury's Cafe. Fleury's Cafe right there in Cuyahoga Falls with great meals there. Breakfast time open Monday through Saturday. And I am ready to give it. Delish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got two guys. Uh, but we have time. Running clock here right now. Cornelius in the shotgun. Another quick hitch, and that one's dropped by Moore. You could see the eyes try to turn up field, kind of felt the heat coming on. What you got? Well, I was reading about Fleury's Cafe. Signature pancakes are just $7.95, but they come with bacon, sausage, ham, <laughs> or two eggs. And then you can choose from original, pumpkin, pecan, blueberry oatmeal, banana, chocolate chip, or coconut. Not coconut. It could be good. No, I don't, I don't it, could, it could be toasted. I don't like coconut. Joe, it's a signature pancake. I don't care. I don't like pumpkin either, but it tis the season for pumpkin. And that one is overthrown. Cornelius with a big arm and just has not been very accurate today. And a lot of that has to do with the pressure. And it looks like they will punt it away. Six to seven, yeah. 
positive for the Firestone Falcons. They have not given up many big plays defensively. Problem area, though, has been on the offensive side of the football. They have not been able to contain the pressure of the Dragons all night. My wife texts me, when are you going to be home? Carter would like to know when Dad's going to be home. And mm -hmm. I said, send him to bed. Sometime after the fourth century. <laughs> still going. Ah, it's going to be a while. Still 11 minutes left. Kick is up and away. It's a good one. Oh, Catches oh. it on the bounce uh -oh. and returns it straight up the middle. <laughs> Spins away from one person, allows some others to catch up, and he'll go down at the 47-yard line on the return is Kyrie Williams. No. no? Deshaun, Deshaun Brimage, sorry. Yeah, good return by Brimage. Catching it on the bounce, that's it. That's taking a chance, but there it was really worth it. About a 30-yard return. One of the biggest plays of the night, really, for the Dragons. Let's see if they still have their starters in. No. No, it looks like they got the Second union for the most part. Collins still at quarterback, though. They're going to give it to the second man through. That's number 17. Romeo Felton he gets positive yardage. About three yards for Felton on the carry. They're going to throw here. Huh. Good gainer to Jerome Hall. Go give him a first down. Fox going to continue to run except for timeouts and something else. The whatnot, yeah. Moving the chain. Or for an injury, it would stop. Yeah, because we're over a 30-point differential here in the fourth century. Still moving the ball well. Second set of downs here on this drive. Running up the center. And he'll gain six on the carry. I don't know who it is above us in the coaches' box, but they are loud. And it's one guy, and he care, could care less who could hear. Like he's calling out offense, defensive coverages. Felton gets five on the carry. Yeah. Second down and four. Who's, who's hand? Who's on my hand? It's got their face on it too. On my it smears on my window. Yeah. How am I supposed to see the play on the field? The window's dirty. Moves people into the backfield to Brimage, who runs his own teammate over. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he literally just uh, pushed Felton out of the way. And I will say, Firestone's hitting. They are, they are meeting, meeting these guys at the point of attack. This East team is just physically impressive. Third and two. Brings up third now. Collins does a good job of getting people where they need to be. Yeah, there's a brimage again. Oh, good great. open field tackle. Yeah, great tackle. That tackle by Kevon Lewis. Brimage gets enough for a first down, though. No? 6.15 here, fourth century. Put 
putting Brimage back in the backfield again usually means he gets uh -oh, the ball. Wide takes open. the pass. Oh, well, that ball on is... coverage. Defender was there, but fell down. That did not come out of the. That did not come out of his hands very well. Needed to throw that more on the line. And that one intended for Hall. Collins now five of ten passing. Got six targets for 52 yards. The Bills have been paid. Really oh, Dave, help us. Yeah. Back it's at tough. Info Cell. Oh, you're not here next week. I'm going Joe Tate next week. Yeah. Good luck. You have two games, Joe Tate style. Oh, man. I'm going to have to drink my ginseng and green tea. You have to get here early and get some coaches interviews. Brimage throws off a tackler, goes out about the eight yard line. Brimage is running like he's a 210 pound beast, which he is. And, but but he's, he's running with a purpose. Yes, it is. Brimage now has seven carries. Like 50 yards on seven carries. Yeah, like I'm going back into the last century. Nothing doing on that one. That was Brimage again. No dice on that one. But the clock continues to roll. Yeah, which four is good news. Left here in the fourth century. <laughs> Still funny. I don't know. I can't stop. Last time I stopped, we went into crazy world. We went into a uh, uh, stitch in time. It just yeah. froze. Oh wait a minute. See? You just did it. <laughs> Even Score. talking about it, it's like we're getting ready for basketball and icing guys on free throws. Timeouts. Good news is, is there is more. High school football coming up for you right here on EPS 15. The good news, I guess the better news is, is I won't be a part of it. So it's just Joe that's going to help out a lot. <sighs> Same great program, just less effort. Our game next week uh, will be Firestone versus Kenmore Garfield. And then we'll have after that Allet East. And then. Dave comes back on Ellett Bookdol at Bookdol the following Saturday. No game on Friday the 13th. Probably smart. We've already been cursed from this game, so. Friday the 13th is usually a pretty good game. Well, especially when we're at Info <laughs> No game on? Uh, no game? No. Peter rescheduled. We need a game that night. There's, a, there's people in the stands with costumes on. That's something you got to see right there. <laughs> That's must see TV. You don't know you don't know what it's gonna be. The vast majority of games have gone final, but we're still here going strong. Still three minutes left. Thank goodness they scored a touchdown in the third quarter. You imagine if the clock stopped. We would be in the third oh quarter still. It would have taken forever. We'd be in the third quarter. Maybe third, just the start don't, of the fourth. Joe, don't just call it a quarter. We would be in the third am I century. My apologies. Each game takes a hundred years. Now we're going to be stuck here in the fourth century. Now Peter can just do it just like reality time. television. It's all about the editing. And Peter, no, no pressure. Peter can finally leave it. He's Man, is that open. high. Oh, nice play. And he was out. Yeah, they gave it to him. Touchback. Nice play by number six. Kavon Lewis. Another Kavon nice play. Kavon Lewis. Good. Kavon. Give on a 5'7 uh, senior. 150 pounds. And you know what? You got to lie on this a little better, buddy. Come on. What he did yeah. and what the receiver did, he did not high point the football. He gave Lewis a chance to use every bit of his frame and go up and get it. I think Collins maybe put a little bit too much air, putting a little too much air under those, making him a jump ball. But when you have athletic receiver receivers. Kind of gave up. Yeah. Yeah, we're up there. Broke off the route. 
I'm not playing defense. It's got to be yeah, I, I think they're going to still play defense here. I don't yeah, think they want to give up any points. Joe, hey. What's, I'm sorry. That's my daughter. <laughs> this is my favorite shot. That she <laughs> put it in, not me. <laughs> How about that? For sense of humor. Uh, I put on my wife's. I put, like, uh, my hot wife. There you go. That's what it's called, my hot wife. It's only got brownie points, like, once after that. doesn't really help you. My favorite child. She's going to get it. My son uh, bumped his lip on the table. That's what my wife checks with him about. Aw. <laughs> That's why he wants daddy home. Another pick? I have another pick. Inside two minutes here. And they go back to the run game. A nice game. And that's not even a good tackle. Why does everyone react to that? It's not a good tackle. Fifteen yards on the carry for Harris. What, the game is over yet? No, no, no. Looking not to throw yet. on the flat. Oh, we dropped it. That's it. We're not playing football. We're actually playing hot potato. That's a good. Namsik back in at quarterback. And uh, you know, I think it's probably time for me to want to help thank all of those player of the game. Oh, right? sorry. Yeah, we should do that first. Yeah, real quick. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious, is it not? Uh, Two guys. I I know who I would have picked, but I'm not sure that's. I'm going with Tanner Kelly. Okay, let's go with. <laughs> no, you got your. <laughs> no, why not? No, you, it, it, Joe, it's your, it's your decision, and I respect your decision. I just like that decision. I mean, let's 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 put it out there. Great game, man. Hey, you got it, man. Nice flag throw. Way to get that in. Um. Devonir Floyd with four touchdown runs on the night, but he shut it down in halftime. But even before he had any of his runs, two of the biggest plays were made by the man you mentioned. Tanner Kelly, fumble recovery, and an interception in the first six minutes of the game. Congratulations as East is going to pitch the shutout here. One more play, maybe. Uh, Tanner Kelly is our Flores Cafe player of the game. Signature player of the game, Tanner Kelly. Signature Pancakes are at Fleury's Cafe, open Monday through Saturday, 7 to 3.30. Signature pancakes have bananas, chocolate chips, coconut, pecan, pumpkin. Joe doesn't like half of them, but they're delicious. I'll eat them all right now. <laughs> Want to help thank all of those that helped make this possible. Peter George upstairs. Jim Morgan, who's still back at the office still. I think he's still there working. For our producer, <laughs> Ryan Rittenhouse, Dave Shake, Joe Bacansky, thanks for watching. See you next time.